Happy New Year YouTube, I'm David Harry and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a tiny external microphone for your GoPro Hero 4. Okay, so what it is, for some time now, I've been experimenting with like various microphone options for my Hero 4 Black. Now what it is, I've gone back to the Hero 4 Black after, after having said like the 5 and the 6. Before that I had the 3 Plus Black, um, but what I've done is skip past the 4 and went straight to the 5. And then after that went to the 6. I wasn't overly happy with the 5 or the 6 to be honest, because you had to bolt on a bit of a box on them in order to get like decent dialogue. But with the likes of the 3 and the 4, possibly the 2, I'm not entirely sure, but with the 3 and the 4, you can just use a very simple cable to connect microphones to it. And so that's exactly what I've done here with me 4. So basically what I've done, I've just constructed a tiny microphone which bolts into the side, based around one of the GoPro audio cables themselves, the little USB ones. Now at the moment, I would probably say that this is the best, like kind of budgety or mid-budget uh, vlogging action cam system is a GoPro 4 with a decent external microphone attached to it for two reasons. One, the GoPro 4 is still a great picture quality camera. Um, I don't think it's gone leaps and bounds beyond the 4, even up to the 7, as far as like pure resolution and quality is concerned. <clears throat> but the other thing with the 4 is its ability to take a microphone into it very easily. And because the GoPro 4 obviously takes this like little tiny adapter cable and not like a fairly hefty box in order to get a microphone into it, what it means is that I can build a microphone which is not only small, but is very lightweight as well, which also then has the added benefit of being able to put it onto the GoPro inside or on a three axis gimbal like I am right now, without unsettling the center of balance of the gimbal. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is cut away to a sequence I did indoors earlier on showing how to build this and then what I'll do, I'll come back and do a few more examples of it as well out here in the park. So into the construction and how-to guide for the building of this little tiny microphone. So as we can see here, this is the final product that we end up with, which is just a nice little tiny angled microphone, which plugs straight into the side of the GoPro. So what I'm gonna do here is go through this guide. Now bear in mind, I'm gonna do this in such a way that the assumption is that you already kind of know a bit about soldering and such, and a little bit about electronics. If not, I'm actually gonna put some links in the descriptions below as well to do with like, you know, how to solder stuff and whatnot. But this guide, is more of a basic overview so at any point here just basically pause and look at the screen for actually following the build because it's actually very straightforward and it doesn't take a lot of explaining from me but the pictures probably help more than the words to be honest so on with the build the three components required to make this little tiny microphone are these the first one being a GoPro USB to 3.5mm audio cable and importantly a right angled one here or right angled on the USB end. Then here what we have is a little tiny microphone. Now you can use either this one or you can use a lot of them cheap lavaliers but importantly they have to have this top piece on here and this actually becomes the main body to insert the actual capsule into so i will have a number of options for this in the links to, that you can follow and get whichever one that you feel is the best one to use and then also here and this is the singular most important part of the actual construction and this is actually the ecm module itself or the electric condenser module or microphone and what this is it is a primo em172 omni directional capsule and the reason why it's an omni is because that's the type of microphone we're making is an omni directional microphone and this can be bought from mikebooster.com and there will be links in the descriptions as to where to get this capsule from from mic booster so the first thing to do is to prepare the USB audio end of the cable. So what you do, literally just chop off at say about two and a half inches away from the USB end and then strip off the plastic outer sheathing from it. And then you're left with three bare cables like there are here. Now what I've done here is took the two live cables, just twisted them off and just tinned them a little bit on the end. And then what I've done, I've just got the earth cable here or the earth wire and then I have then just tinned that off a little bit at the end. So like I say, all you do, you just prepare that cable to look like that. 
then the next thing to do is to prepare the actual housing that the capsule sits inside of which then sits on top of the usb socket so what you do you get this microphone here or any number of the other microphones that i'm going to link to because some of them will be lavaliers but importantly they will have the same end piece on here then what you do at the base of it here literally snap off with snips all the whole pot bottom piece here or if this is the lavalier version that you might get just you know basically cut the cable out from the bottom and then you're left with just the top piece like that now once you've obviously taken out the insides or the capsule that was inside either the lavalier or the microphone section that i've just been using myself what you'll end up doing is having the empty shell there there's the actual cap off the top of the body and then what we need to do is just literally just put the cabling inside here so it pops out the other end so let me try and do this quickly Hold on. okay <laughs> right that just took me a little while because i'm trying to film and concentrate on too many things here then what you do literally just push it down a bit on the end and it fits on snugly onto the end of the usb section there then what you've got here is the two cables sticking out of the end and the next thing to do is to simply solder on the primo em172 capsule so what we do we just take the two live cables that we twisted off before connect them to this pad here and then we do the same but with the shield or the earth cable and we connect it to that pad up there so now all we have to do is pop the capsule inside the body and then seal it off with the actual cap that came with the original microphone. And then the final thing to do is to simply connect our new little tiny microphone to the USB port on the GoPro. And there we have it. That's all ready to rock and roll and record. And also what you might want to consider doing is just getting a little foam shield and a little dead cat as well, just for when you're outdoors and it might get a little windy and stuff. And like I mentioned earlier on as well, there's going to be a bunch of links in the descriptions below as to where to go and buy all these little individual parts to build this microphone. So what I'm going to do now is just go back outside and continue doing some more testing with this microphone and to give an idea of exactly how small this microphone is i'm just filming here as well on my e 4k plus so let me get this in right so there we go now that's the microphone and that's actually got a foam shield on it at the moment which may not even be necessary to be honest because there's not much wind in fact let me just take that off a seconds and so there it is with the foam filter off and as we can see it is absolutely tiny and i think i might have mentioned this earlier on as well but because it is so small it means it's very light and so it doesn't upset the balance of the gimbal either and right now i've literally just got the gopro handheld with the little tiny microphone plugged into its side so as we can see hopefully from here the GoPro there is so small and tiny with a decent microphone on it that it just basically means you can kind of go out and do vlogging so easily with the tiniest of systems which all just fits in your pocket okay so now for one more example of a possible setup with this particular microphone now this configuration is possibly my favorite for doing vloggy type stuff with with like you know a small action cam and it's basically like a halfway house between using the action cam just on its own or on a three axis gimbal and that's to put it on a pistol grip so hopefully if I get in with the other camera here, we can kind of see how flexible this setup is. And what it does, it just allows you to have better control of the camera, but just handheld like that. So this is great for certain instances as well, where you just want to go out light without the gimbal, because all this breaks down that easily in your pocket. But the most important thing here, of course, is the external microphone. And then you can always just put the GoPro on a little tiny tripod, regardless of the mounting system that it's on, and then just do some hands-free vloggy stuff like I'm doing right now. And if you take a little bit of care as well with your movements using this pistol grip, you could possibly get away without using a three axis gimbal in certain situations as well, which also then makes the benefit of this tiny microphone even more apparent for doing vlogging. And this is an example of the internal mics on the GoPro Hero 4, which I think are actually very good anyway to start off with. But I do believe that when you plug that little external microphone in, you do get a little bit more extra quality to your dialogue. So there we have it then, how to build a little tiny external microphone for your GoPro Hero 4, which sounds, in my opinion, really good. Anyways, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel, check links and whatnot and all that kind of funky stuff. So the last thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now. Ha <laughs> ha!